it was like your snake um they found it and i didn't mean to scare all the girls it just happened hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so if you're new here my name is chishimba or chichi if you would like to call me that so today i'm going to be talking about it's basically a life update on like what's been going on i didn't want to be doing these monthly videos when i did a december recap i did a january recap and i didn't want to do a february recap but a lot keeps happening every month so it's kind of seeming like an every month thing so let me get right into it so um i'm going to start with lockdown so um i'm sure a lot of you know that china has the omicron variant now and it's it's going crazy at some point it was like really high like the cases were much so a lot of places went on lockdown my school included and the lockdown has been really really serious like before the previous lockdown they closed the door yeah but now it's like the doors open but you still can't jump because it's really like tight measures so they've installed cameras at places where they're wearing cameras they put barbed wires where you're supposed to jump but you know I guess people still do manage. Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. So it's basically just been like in school, like you can't go anywhere. Especially me knowing like I got in trouble a few months back. If you haven't watched my December recap, then December, November, it's a December recap. You can go and watch it and just see. So I've been trying to like stay out of trouble, but it's like I attract trouble for some reason. I attract trouble. I don't want peace. I want problems always. So I don't even know which order this is in, but with everything happening and lockdown, they're like strict measures. If they catch you jumping, it's like a whole big issue. So I remember one time this month, February, like I woke up and didn't check my phone. I checked, I checked my phone like later, later, like after 12, like after midday. And I found like calls and texts from my supervisor. So it was basically text saying, um, don't come back to campus, stay wherever you went. And mind you, I just woke up like, so I was wondering like, what's going on? Like, I knew that he probably thinks I'm out, but I was now wondering like what's what's really going on. So I tried calling him and um he could he, his line was busy, I think, or he didn't pick one of the two. And then he called me back, but he called me via video call. So now it was a thing of where he wants to see where I am. So he's asking me, you're out of school, you're out of school. I'm like, no, I'm actually in school right now. He's like, no, you went out this morning. I was like, no, I did not go anywhere. Then he said, show me your door. So I showed him my door. I went outside and showed him my door. Then he's like, but did you go outside? They saw you, they saw you. I'm like, who saw me? Do you know me? Do you know my name? Do you know the class I am? Right. This is not my real face, so... Then he said, the guards. First of all, these are Chinese people. They don't know exactly who who is. It's the same way like we don't know exactly who they are. It's like they just see black people and it's black people. So it could be anybody. And it says no. It's they said they saw somebody with big eyes and red hair. And like I had these like reddish maroon braids before. And I don't know how he even knew that i was wondering like i'm not the only one with red hair and i told him that he's like who else has red hair i'm like i don't know like i rarely move around my own campus like i barely know people so like how am i supposed to know that and even if i knew i wouldn't snitch so so now he's like oh okay if you say it's not you i was like um you can check the cameras check the cameras and check if it's me so like oh okay i'm going to check the pic the pictures if it's you and like, I don't know what's just like, I was scared. Once you do something wrong, it's easy for people to keep thinking that it's you every time. Uh, so I was just like, I was shaking that day. I was like, what's happening? I'm minding my business, staying in my room. And he still followed me. That passed. So we've been actually doing like 
covid test like very frequently like maybe every five days and we only get like cafeteria food and like it's been rough it's been rough <laughs> And then recently, I had gotten, before lockdown, I had gotten like a rubber snake and I used to scare my friend Favour with it like all the time. Like anytime, like she's so scared, so I would scare her with it. But this one time, recently, like a week ago, I, I took it and threw it in her room, like saying, okay, today she must face her fear, you know? So I even left, I went to the cafeteria to get food, I left it in her room and I called her when I got to the cafeteria, I'm like, oh, okay, like, how do you deal with the issue? So she said, no, no, I pushed it out with the broom, like, to the corridor. And she was like, yeah, so you find your snake day. So I was like, okay, I'll pick it up on my way up. So, fast forward to a few minutes later. People are posted on Snapchat. There was a snake on the fourth floor. There was a snake on the fourth floor. Apparently, somebody was passing and they saw it and they got scared and they screamed. They got other people were so scared. They called all the teachers to the place, but it was a rubber snake and it was mine. Now I didn't leave it in the corridor, so I didn't and I didn't mean to scare other girls. It just happened. It happened that it was pushed into the corridor and it was my snake. So now i was like what's happening like favor called me and she's like oh you know your snake actually she called me before i saw the snapchat things it was like your snake um they found it the teachers found it and everything everybody's on fourth floor like it's a big thing i was like okay so i left the cafe i finished getting food i went to the car i went i went back to the dorm and on my way i passed by the teacher's like door so he saw me and i was with nana so um he called the teacher called nana in and said oh are you going with chichi and he was like yes and he was like okay she did a prank on favor about the snake and all the girls on the fourth floor were scared and she made all of us teachers look like fools and everything and that wasn't my intention at all so she told her not to do it again and later in the evening and he also told Favor that I, when she meets me, I should go find him. And later in the evening when we had room check, he actually talked about the exact same thing. He's like, I'm actually also looking for you. Then he said, um, you know, this would attract a punishment. I'm like, I didn't put it there to scare you people. You just happen to be collateral damage. It was in Favor's room and that's how we play. This snake has been here for over a month. We've been playing with it like that. Like, it's just unfortunate that this happened but uh, like that's how he's like oh okay I never do it don't do it again blah, blah 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 but like the fact that it's a i i get how maybe they might have looked like that when they found it but like i didn't leave it in the corridor so it's not my fault it's not like i put it in a random person's room i put it in my friend's room and she saw me put it there like it was a joke but yeah then that passed thank god so now i've just been laying low like i can't even do pranks anymore before they come and expel me because i was joking because you cannot play anymore you can't play it's a crime to joke so apart from that it's been like friendship stuff honestly like i'm big on trust and if that's lost i feel like i I drift and it's hard to get me back and so yeah I've been laying low I just on my own and that's what's been happening and mentally like you know with lockdown and everything and quarantine like it's very very easy to fall down that hole and get depressed and everything but I'm so glad that I have people around me that make sure that doesn't happen you know it's like you have like personal a personal therapist or something like you you vent and it passes but like overall i'm sure people are going crazy like it's hard to stay in one place especially when you're forced to normally i do not like to go outside the, the, i don't like the outside i like being in my comfort zone and being in my room but if you're forced to do something it makes you want to do it even more and like it's like 
now i just want now now i even crave pizza more than usual like i crave stuff more than usual things that i'm i i know are not attainable but i want them because i know that i can't have them but yeah that's where we're at and we're hoping that it ends soon so we can get back to offline classes because this online thing online class thing is not working for me honestly like i, I have tried and officially i feel like it's supposed to be like week five or something or week six of classes but i personally am officially resuming school this week like mentally i haven't been doing anything but yeah so that's basically it on everything that's been happening my dad's better he's gotten stronger he can now like walk and everything his left hand and left leg are not that strong but he's getting there his memory is guys it's not coming back honestly like right now it's really really slow and we're not being sure if it's going to come back or not but it's really like it's extremely slow it's just a thing of now like getting to know us again that's how we've just put it he's getting to know us again and we are not pushing it they told us not to push it and like force his memory to come back we can't force the memories so we're just now going with the flow but yeah apparently this month april he is physically fit to work but yeah he overall he's better he obviously like when you do get amnesia you get um like your personality changes a little bit and his personality has changed a little bit if that makes sense he's now like getting to know himself again and like he's getting to know himself in a different way from how he was if that makes sense but yeah we thank god because he's alive and he can think he can speak he can walk it was like it's just like it's very amazing because I, I it was scary it was a very scary experience and we just keep hoping we just keep hoping that his memory is going to come back really soon because i have worked so hard to be to be favored in his eyes <laughs> to be good in his eyes i've i've worked so hard to like get good grades everything and it's like that he doesn't remember it at all like at all it's like you have to start again proving yourself and i, I have worked so hard to prove myself that I, that's the one part that also bothers me but yeah that's pretty much all about february and what's been happening so far and yeah thank you for watching this video if you got to the end if you're not subscribed please subscribe i'm going to have proper videos up for you guys really soon when the lockdown is done because right now it's really hard for me to do the blind days it's very hard for me to do the other stuff that i planned to be doing on this channel but i'm going to try to do what i can with what i have right now and yeah so stay tuned and Please don't don't forget to subscribe subscribe it's free it's not expensive it's zero cry it doesn't i don't even take your time to subscribe so click that red button and don't forget to also turn on post notifications so you're notified each time i post and don't miss anything when it's out but yeah thank you for watching bye